Sometimes we think that our lives are not worthy of being journaled and we say that our lives are boring and full of routine and nothing ever happens to me. Why would I want to journal about the everyday life? But our everyday life is ordinary, but we can definitely journal it extraordinary. So this is a little video to show you how a simple, normal, mundane day in the life of me can be journaled creatively because I know that your life and my life and our lives are filled with ordinary mundane tasks. We aren't doing amazing, crazy, fantastic, Instagram worthy things day in and day out. I certainly am not, but we can definitely take moments, snapshots and build our days to cherish them for each moment definitely builds us into the people that we are, even if they seem boring and mundane and ordinary. There is so much magic in the ordinary. Believe me, I'm here to show you. Every day I make myself several cups of tea in a slow and methodical way, the same way each time, a little bit of milk, a little bit of sugar, an extra strong tea bag. I do this task at least five to six times a day, every single day. And sometimes my husband makes it and sometimes I make it, but it is no different. It is routine and it is something that is part of my day. Now we always seem to take the little bits and pieces for granted. So I decided to take something that I do every single day, take a tidbit and use it in my journal at a later time. A lot of the times I try and drink my tea straight after I've made it and I normally burn my lips and it happens every single day but I do spend this time taking my tea and thinking about what I possibly could make a video out of and then I realize it's time to show you guys the boring parts of my life and to really show you that anything can be journaled as long as you want it to be journaled. My small humans are part of my everyday life. They're part of my routine. Every single morning they drive me crazy, but they are definitely part of my everyday life. Now, as you guys know, if you don't know, my days aren't normally like this. And talking to hubby via a phone on the couch while I fold laundry is definitely not glamorous but it's part of my routine and that's part of my routine for the next two weeks and the internet's terrible in his hotel and we barely hear each other's conversations but it's part of my day it's part of something that happened almost daily for the next two weeks, hopefully if his hotel Wi-Fi holds out. But it's not glamorous, but it's definitely ordinary, it's definitely part of my day. For Mother's Day, my darling husband gave me some pink roses and they've slowly been dying and I knew it was time to do something with them that I wanted to preserve them in some way shape or form especially with the heating it's just making them wilt a whole lot faster than normal so I decided that I would show you something silly that I like to do and I'm pretty sure it's dead flowers that always does this for me dead flowers seem to pull out the creativity in me it makes me fascinated how a camera can play tricks on you and with a simple 
placing of something into a shot, how all the colors just come to life. And I loved watching that happen on my screen. There are no filters in this. There is nothing but the camera adjusting to the beauty that is a dying flower. And it made me think about so many things that we take for granted in our lives and the things that we don't capture and document. And it's definitely so important to capture those little tidbits because one day those tidbits will change and we will have forgotten the things that we normally do in our everyday life because they, we don't do them anymore. So why not document them? Something I've been putting off for a while is repotting some plants. So I decided today was the day because one had dropped a leaf and I didn't want it to die because of the heat of the air conditioner. So I decided that it was time to plant them into a pot. And this is just a simple, simple thing that you may or may not do in your day, but it was something that I did and I definitely wanted to capture it later on in my journal page and you'll see how soon. In I'm trying to show you that these simple little things are little things that make up our days and yet we don't think about them as memorable experiences. Yes, potting a plant is, is probably a little bit more memorable than something else, but I'm just trying to show you that the mundane and the simple and the routine are definitely where some of your daily magic can be documented. There are different things that we may take for granted such as potting a plant, our children doing our homework, taking time out and having a cup of tea and even sweeping the floor. And yes, you are correct. Dirt does feature in my journal spread because I am always playing the role of Cinderella. I am always cleaning my house and finding that balance between girl boss and housewife and cleaner and cook and nurse and referee with my kids they are very very simple things that we take for granted that we get to do and yet we don't really journal about these types of things and i thought why and it's is it because we don't think that the ordinary is worthy of being documented when i think the ordinary is something that needs to be noticed it needs to be celebrated because we get to do these things we are blessed to be able to do the things that we do we have a roof over our heads we have food in our tummy we have children or family we have these things that we take for granted and i especially being in this dark funk that i've been in for quite a while i was forgetting this and so this video, making this video is a lot to do with doing it for myself, but I also know that you guys need to see it, to believe it, to hear it from my voice, in my words. We need to document the ordinary. It's a simple corner inside the corner of my house and now it's filled with two new plants and I am super happy with how it looks, but again, not totally Instagram worthy, not even slightly, but it's something I want to document later on in my journal. And then there's those quiet moments when a woman, an artist who I admire so very much, puts up a video for me to watch. And I just sit there and think about how amazing Tisha Moore is and how she has overcome so much and it is such a privilege to see her work again. So I spent some time with her thinking about how would I go if my life changed like that? How would I have enough fight in me to create still? Am I that much of an artist that it's in my bones even though my body would not let me do it? I am just in awe over what she does and even though my internet was playing up and I couldn't finish her video yet, I'll try tonight, I still sat with the idea as I sat and sketched. I really, really love Tisha 
and she is one of the women along with Jane who has definitely helped build me into the artist I am today. Speaking about dirt, I am literally going to journal about cleaning and it is something that I don't think we actually journal about and I was standing there sweeping up the dirt from pulling the pots in and out and sitting there standing there going what the heck, I am so sick of cleaning, I am so sick of sweeping tiles and cleaning pots and plates and just being really down on myself but then I realized why don't I journal about this why don't I literally journal or show dirt in my journal strange I know but definitely something you're going to laugh about later this is my world and this is what happens in my world I take an idea and I run with it a $2 piece of colored cardboard and suddenly everything looks a whole lot more pretty and a whole lot more aesthetically pleasing. And that is what I'm going to show you. You can make anything look glamorous. You just got to make sure you have the right stuff. A $2 piece of cardboard is the right stuff. As you guys know, I have teacup humans. <laughs> it's something that I cherish. And some days they drive me insane and they make me want to tear out my eyeballs and just scream into a pillow with rage. But documenting these little guys is something that I cherish and every day is homework and every day I argue with them and every day we fight about it. Because I believe homework is something that is truly necessary and does help even though they don't realize it at the time. And we do this every single day. Homework every single day, even on Fridays when school has finished, they do half an hour of mathletics. So I wanted to document the homework, but in a, le a little more subtle way. And now it's time for me to show you how I put all of those mundane, routine, everyday items, everyday things into my journal to show you how the ordinary can look absolutely extraordinary. It can look bright and vibrant and still really, really show a beautiful side to the ordinary and the routine. And now when you say, I can't do this, my days are boring, I've literally swept the floor for you guys and now I'm about to journal it. And everything will change in time. This is what I do. I take snapshots and some journaling that I've been doing off camera has sparked this entire video. Documenting my daily life and my family life is not something that I do on the regular. My journal is definitely mine and mine alone and I make sure that I draw and write and 
moan and get depressed and get excited and just talk about my feelings but I don't generally document my everyday life and I think this is an error on my part because I haven't shown you guys this sort of side of me in a long time and so because I've been journaling off camera this sort of style I wanted to show you how you can incorporate your everyday life into your journal. It may not be something you want to do every day because like I said, we do have very routine heavy days, but every now and again, there will be something in your day that changes from the norm and you can journal about that. Or if you're stuck for something to journal about, just remember, I literally swept dirt. So the pot plant that I planted, I decided I wanted to paint the leaves. Now I wanted to have my items on my page and I wanted to make sure that the uh, items were in the right place. So I actually traced around them, which you saw me do. So I knew exactly where I wanted to paint these leaves. And I took a photo of my plant and just did a basic little sketch. And now I'm using my watercolors to color them in because not everyone wants to take photographs and not everyone wants to paint. So I wanted to show you both ways so that you can decide for yourself which way you like best. I honestly do love incorporating drawings with my photographs, with my writing, all that sort of thing, sort of combining and colliding where my art and life collide. It is my tagline and it's definitely something that I do on a daily basis. So I've taken photographs from my daily life, the life that you just saw me do, and I'm now putting it into a journal spread. And I don't need to put the whole pot plant in. I'm literally just putting the leaves into the side of the page. photograph things and items and people against white walls or block colored walls they make it easier to photograph they also make it a nice clean line for me to cut out because I don't always want to have square photos in my journal and I've told you guys this before this is nothing new here so I've literally photographed my shoes and my flowers which you will get in your collage sheets but I've also photographed my dustpan and broom that I filled with dirt and those are items that you wouldn't normally see in a journal but I'm, I'm trying to show you how the boring and the simple and the very not glamorous can look interesting and silly and totally unique in your journal spread so you had to leave please come back now baby where will we said you changed and
wouldn't be a video of mine without some whimsy and silly and that's exactly what I mean by documenting the ordinary in an, an, an extraordinary way by creating little things that aren't normal that aren't real obviously my shoes are coming out of my teacup and a Tisha Moore collage element which was my nod to her from watching her video yesterday is definitely how I want to document things. This is also a part of her collage sheets from the Artstronauts. I wanted to add some Tisha into my spread because I really wanted to remember her and to just just document those moments and remember the homework that my teacup humans did. I scanned and photocopied their spelling lists and sized them down and I've just taken them on a diagonal so it's a little bit different, a little bit interesting and I'm now creating a tip-in with their literal homework sheets. Well, not their literal ones, they're going to school tomorrow, but the copies of them. And this is a way for me to document something that does drive me insane and does drive both all of us insane every week and it is a routine it is a daily thing a daily struggle but it's to see i can look back on these and see where my kids were academically at this time when they're older they'll get to see they'll see their handwriting and i thought it was a nice touch to be able to see both their handwritings both their spelling lists and to include that in my journal in a not so common way so i could just write about their homework but this is a way for you to do it that is different and not the norm and may spark something in you or something completely different this whole idea may spark something in your daily life so now I'm adding the tea bag or I'm trying to work out where I want my tea bag to go because I've got my feet and the cup and the panda I still wanted the tea bag to go in there so I'm trying to work out what I wanted and now I'm just creating almost like soot sprites literally little dust creatures that are coming out of my dustpan and broom because you know I have a lot of dust I have a cat there's a lot of dust in my house I am only human I can only sweep my floors so many times I can only juggle the cleaning so many times but sometimes I think they are dust creatures just creeping in the corners of my house just out to get me they're planning to get me I feel like they're always around no matter how many times I try and get rid of them those little dust creatures are absolutely everywhere and this is my way of making light of the situation that I absolutely despise cleaning and it's just a fun and funky way to document something that I really don't like and I don't think any of us like cleaning so I made sure that one of those little creatures peeked out the side of my tip in because that is something I also like to do is I like to collide my imaginary with my reality and this is very much something like the no draw spread that you guys saw me do with the buildings and the tip ins and the flip outs I like to clash imaginary with the reality because sometimes reality just isn't that cool it's just not that cool we found homes in these walls we like what we saw seems so strong until it falls the fire must fall mm -hmm.
just layering colored pencil over my watercolors to try and get some darks in that I couldn't be bothered grabbing from my alternate palette but I definitely don't mind adding pencils to my watercolors and I'm also using my white Signo to add in some more of the highlights since this is a very marbled leaf. I don't think I did the leaves justice but I kind of wasn't going for absolute perfection. This is just a sketch in my journal. It is just a drawing to represent the fact that I potted a plant and it was something that I was proud of because I normally do it with hubby and this is the first time I've done it for myself which may seem silly but it's something I wanted to, do to document and even though though it's not perfect it triggers a memory and that's exactly why I did it every now and then I'll date things to remind myself of what the actual date is I always get mad at myself for not dating things but I wanted to actually remember what the date was and I wanted to also include the screenshot that I had printed for my other off-camera journal but I wanted to also include it in this spread because I did and do talk to my hubby once a day uh, via video chat and so because it was part of my day this was a great way to remember it now this is a nighttime snap that's why it's all grainy and awful but it makes me smile and I wanted to add it and turn it into a tip in and just layer it over my kids homework because I thought it was a nice little little texture I wasn't going to add it but I like it's part of my day and it's a, a very important part of my day that man is my anchor and I definitely wanted to make sure that he made it onto the spread even though he's not at home at the moment he is always in my heart and now I'm going to work on my tea bag because who can have a cup of tea without the tea bag and because I took the tab off my tea bag I wanted to paint the actual tea bag um, just a representation of it again not super perfect but you can tell what it is and that's all it's about and I definitely wanted to add some uh, something else I wanted to draw something else so um, finding a space in my journal for that um, obviously it can't come out of my teacup because there's feet there but I, I like its placement and I like how it joins the two pages together once I give it a home on the opposite page I see in you my mother's eyes and I lay your head to my shoulder a lock of gold a secret smile I will tell you when you get older I place a It's 
such a heartbeat pounding in your chest. And that is it. I just have my journaling to do and to add a title for the day of the week, which I'm going to use my labeler. But I think I've done all I want to do except put these little guys here. But I just, I wanted to make this video because I hear this thing all the time in my head and my own head i hear myself say it to myself and i hear you guys say it to me and i hear it just around in general on instagram and youtube that my life is boring my life is routine i do all the same things it's very monotonous um and so i wanted to show you how we need to take moments moments that are special simple routine mundane and celebrate them because they are the moments that make our days what they are they are the moments that we will forget and they are the moments that build our days that they're moments we can't get back and they may be monotonous and they may be routine but they are what make us us watching my kids do their homework in the afternoons fighting with them over their homework watching them be silly, cleaning my house as much as I hate it, taking some magic to the mundane and the, and the simple and the routine is, is my way of celebrating my day. Your day is going to look different to my day. And there is a way to combine all of those things. And if you can't draw, take photos. If you if you don't want to take if you don't want to take photos, you can draw. There are so many ways to document your everyday life in a creative way. And I just wanted to show you that it can absolutely be done and look beautiful. And I did nothing spectacular on this day. I did all the same things that I do day in, day out. Maybe I don't plant a pot plant every day, but I definitely am cleaning. I'm definitely working. I'm definitely drinking tea. I don't always talk to my husband via a video chat, but I definitely talk to my mom or I'm on my phone in general. Um, just all these things are very very routine and very monotonous for me but I wanted to show you that no matter what or how boring you think your day is we need to make our ordinary extraordinary and that is exactly what this video is trying to show you so I hope you have a wonderful week uh, let me know what you think and let me know if you like this format of video so take care my loves and I'll talk to you very soon bye Thoughts are spinning round in my head I both all sit down Cause I'm almost there Now I see you through the window And I'm walking on air But I won't let you know And I know How it goes It's supposed to feel incredible It's too bad Said you changed and a lot.